And then uh, a couple of other things, couple of other options here is that you have, like I said, if you hit uh, A and B, light slash and, head, and medium slash, you do a dot. So this is, uh, like, remember we saw on Backdash, basically had no invincibility, right? He gets airborne, but then he gets hit anyway. Well, dodge actually has the invincibility, and if you actually can dodge things properly. Oh, shoot! Okay, that's weapon clash. That was weapon clash. And I can't believe I did the weapon clash. That should not have happened, unless it's a training mode only thing. That was very weird. Okay, I'll get into that in just a little bit. But uh, you can see I can dodge, right? And then I might be able to whip punish. Maybe not with a full C. But as you can see, the dodge doesn't have a big, giant, invulnerable window. It is not a, a, not a big window, right? It's not... A, you, you have to be pretty spot on with your dodge, right? So you can probably punish with that or... Or maybe even just a light, you know, just to be sure and stuff like that. So there you go. That is something that's very important to note. So dodging has its use. One of the best ways to use dodge is to dodge throws because you definitely recover first on that. So as you saw, I had a plus eight counter hit. See, that wasn't a counter hit. But the last one I did, I actually got extra damage for counter hit because I got him out of the throw delay, the throw recovery. So... Yeah, dodging does not have a big window uh, to avoid things. Oh, one thing I forgot to talk about. So I talked about um, uh, canceling on hit. Like this move cannot be canceled on hit. Uh, but on block, the deflect animation is its own thing that you can cancel into, right? Well, one of the important things about Samurai Showdown is that you have to learn that a lot of normals are going to be cancelable on whiff. This is very different than a lot of fighting games. If you play in Marvel, this will be normal. Except in Marvel, you can whip any normal and cancel it practically, right? Except for maybe in Marvel 3, you can't cancel launchers into specials, right? Uh, unless you jump cancel them on hit. But on whip, you can't do anything. In this game, so for example, if I whip my light punch over here, I can cancel it on whip. Now the window is usually pretty small. As you can see, that was not a cancel. That's just light punch, fireball. But you can actually cancel it on whip. Now I can do that with my crouching light as well, and my crouching B, my crouching medium also can do this too. However, this is not true with every button. My far B still cannot be canceled on whip. My crouch C can. And it might just be whatever move is cancelable on hit is also cancelable on whiff, but please do not quote me on that because I'm sure there's going to be exceptions. As with every fighting game, there's always an exception to the rule. But for the most part, you can cancel a lot of things into whiff, okay? So that's very important to know, is that you can cancel certain buttons on whiff. And this is something that you're going to want to learn as well because this will actually help save you a lot in some situations or just be really good like if you're afraid someone's gonna run at you and they don't you can cancel into the fireball just to you know cover that space and then do that or you could even do something like whip into my overhead or something like that just to kind of like make you flinch make you flinch into overhead for example like that so that's the way it works over there uh, hitting people with supers look like it would be quite hard. Would opponents have to make huge mistakes? Yeah, which happens a lot more than you think, but supers can also be comboed into as well. So uh, I don't know if Haomaru can actually combo into his weapon flipping technique. Uh, some people can throw into weapon flipping technique, just like right off the bat. Ow. Ow. But I think this will work. Oops. Oh. oh, I can't cancel into my weapon flipping technique? I could have swore I could. Huh. All right, I'll test that later. I'll test that later. Um, but you can land the supers, and depending on the supers, if you're Ukyo, you will never land the super on a soul for your entire life. If you ever land Ukyo's weapon flipping technique, which is what the supers are called, if you ever landed on someone, you should win the game. 
That's it. The, like the other person should just give up and forget playing fighting games for the rest of his life. Um, but on certain characters like Jubei, absolutely, you're gonna hit people with that thing a lot because it's super good. Uh, so it's really dependent on the characters. It's really, really very dependent on which characters that you're using. Uh, okay, so let's get back into deflect, shall we? Quarter circle forward, light plus medium. Everybody has this. This is a universal mechanic. And also, my apartment complex is under construction. How's the background noise right now? Is it really bad or you guys can hear me just fine? Or is it really loud right now? Because they're getting closer and closer to me. Uh, yes, they're trying to fix the leak. Yes, they're trying to fix the leak. Uh, okay, so it's okay. Sweet. But this is a very important tactic. It has a small window. It's not a huge window to deflect. But anytime your opponent tries to hit you with a sword like that and you deflect it. Whoops. Oh, Jesus, come on. There he goes. Do you see him deflect like that? That is all delay. And that is a rebound animation that you cannot do anything about. So if I deflect that, I get a standing C for free. I get to land a weapon flipping technique for free. I get to do whatever the hell I want. I could go make coffee and come back and kill you, okay? Like that thing puts you in delay so badly and uh, it works off of light as well, it works off of mediums as well, and it works off of heavies. Not only does it work on heavies, but if you noticed, Yashimaru's sword has now fallen out of his hands. His sword has fallen out of his hands and Yosh Yashimaru now no longer has any sword attacks. He only has punches. Uh, light and medium seem to have different delays, but very barely, very barely. I think the difference is so small that it really just doesn't matter. I, I just, uh, yeah, you could definitely lick your elbows and then still punish them on time, okay? And like I said, if you deflect a heavy attack, you make them lose their weapon. We'll get into that in a little bit on the downsides of losing your weapon. Because you don't want to lose your weapon. If you lose your weapon, everything sucks. Life just sucks in general. Because you you basically can lose a whole round, even if with a giant life lead, if you get your weapon deflected and you're standing there with no weapon because things just suck really badly for you. Uh, but yeah, so deflect is a very, very powerful tool. And with that all in mind, remember I said that you can cancel your rebound animation into deflect. And remember I said you can cancel that rebound animation anytime during the rebound animation after the window is open. So now it becomes very scary for your opponent to try and actually punish you during a rebound. Because if they try to punish you during a rebound with a B and I deflect it, I can super them, I can see them, I can do all sorts of nasty, nasty things to them that they are not going to be happy with. Deflect, also, if you compare this, uh, crouching attacks, okay, I'll get to that in a little bit, I'll get to that in a little bit, but one thing to note about deflect is that the delay is not very long. If I whiff a throw, I am there for a long old time. But if I whiff a deflect, I recover pretty fast. So in other words, uh, deflecting is actually really powerful and neutral. Because most of the time, if you just deflect in someone's face like this, they're not going to hit you with a C. They're just going to hit you with a B or an A. So they're just going to poke you with a B or an A, and you're going to take a small amount of damage. However, if you do deflect them, you get a chunk of damage, you get whopping damage, and you get a crap ton of damage. And so it's very useful. Not only that, but remember how uh, I could cancel runs into special moves like this, right? Well, I can cancel run into deflect. So if you think the opponent is going to stop you running by poking at you and hitting you out of the startup of your dash, 
how we mentioned that you have to commit to the dash a little bit, I can actually run the flex. So you can actually run deflect. So deflect basically is a monkey wrench thrown into everything that gives you huge rewards. And so deflect is very, very <laughs> scary. It's very, very scary. And exactly, the window is still small. So you still need very good timing to deflect things. But it's there and it makes you think twice about things once your opponent starts deflecting a lot of your errant pokes and stuff like that. So it's very, very scary. So uh, does Haomaru still have a sword slash uh, attack special? Uh, I don't know which one you're talking about. Rotabru Tsama? Rotabru Tsama? I'm not sure which one you're talking about. Uh, Finding any six with Yashimaru yet? Not yet. And can I do anything, other things out of the recoil aside from parry? Any special move, uh, Snowcat. We, we, we talked about that a little bit earlier. You can cancel into special moves as well. Like so. So it's special moves and deflect. Those are the only things you can do out of the recoil animation. Now, having said that, there are, un there are undeflectable moves. And this is going to be very important. Most of the time, if you have a move that hits low, uh, it is undeflectable. So you saw right there, I got hit. Whoops. Like that. That was a low. I was walking backwards and I got hit. So that means Yash Yashamaru, Yash Yash Yashamaru has an undeflectable crouching C. He has an undeflectable crouching C. And also, just to point out, uh, yeah, he does have two different crouching C's. Remember how I said some people might have two different crouching C's depending on proximity? Well, Ishamaru is one of them. So there you go. So Ishamaru actually has two different crouching C's. So he actually has crouching proximity normals, uh, which is not what even a game like Street Fighter has. So yes, there is evidence right there of crouching proximity normals. But at the same time, because that is a low, I cannot deflect that. So Yashamaru, Yashamaru is going to have a really powerful weapon to have against people who try to uh, deflect things a lot. If you throw out a lot of crouching Cs, you're basically going to blow them up for it. Also, everything that is a kick cannot be deflected. So this, is a, this cannot be deflected. Nothing of a kick can be deflected. And in fact, if you have a weapon, if you have an attack that has nothing to do with your sword at all, like this thing over here, this can't be deflected either because I'm hitting you with my water bottle. So I'm actually smacking you with my water bottle. So you can't actually deflect this either. It has to be a sword attack and it has to be high enough that you can actually deflect it. So, um... Can, are there low crushes in this game? Some characters have them, not everybody. Only a few characters. In previous Sam Show games, you had a in-place hop. You also had a super crouch. Those do not exist in Samurai Showdown 2019. Those are not available movement tactics and stuff. So, uh, no one is anti-airing because not a lot of characters have good anti-airs. Now, if you have an uppercut, anti-air to your heart's content. But if you're a character like Yashimaru, who does not have an uppercut like that, who has no invincible uppercuts, you kind of have to hold that jump. Now, there are a lot of ways that you can get around uppercuts. Some characters will do air to airs. When they see the opponent jump, you can jump and like stab him with a light punch right away. So like, oh, okay, here comes Yashimaru. Oh, I'm gonna air to air you. So you hit them before they hit you because they're not going to be swinging their button way at the height of their jump, so you jump up after them and hit them out of the air. So a lot of characters, this is a very standard classic Samurai Showdown anti-air. You see them jump, you jump after them and hit them out of the air. And it's completely fair too because you're doing no damage because if I hit heavy, look how long that takes to hit. I may get hit first, so I want to hit jump and light to catch him out of the er early part of his jump basically. And then that's like an anti-air. Some people have good normals that can anti-air. Shiki has an amazing standing kick that anti-airs. Haumaru's not so much. He's going to eat jump Cs anyway. But Shiki kicks like way up into the sky. So she has a really good kick anti-air. 
So for the most part, anti-airing is a different beast in this game. Now, if you have a good button like this, I'm pretty sure if you predict the jump, whoops, uh, okay, I'm just gonna have him jump in the corner because, like, I can predict it and hit you out of the air and hit you before you hit me. So if you have moves like that, but you'll notice that a lot of anti-airs have slow startup like that. So uh, people can anti-air each other, but it's not as easy as it is in some other games. And jumping is actually kind of potent in this game, I feel like. I feel like jumping is a little more potent, even in this Samurai Showdown compared to former Samurai Showdowns. I feel like jumping is a little more potent. However, your fight still wants to mostly be on the ground, especially if you're Kyoshiro or Ukyo or Tam Tam, because when they jump, I mean, I'll, I'll just show you what it looks like when they jump, man. When they jump, whew, boy, God, you, I mean, like, like, request permission to land. I mean, Jesus, we need, like, a freaking, like, you want to talk airplane status, dude? Uh, deflect is Sam Show Perry, although there is a just defend in the game as well. So there are just defends in the game as well. going on Mariano Tekken so here we go uh, jump with Kyoshiro he flies into the air with the greatest of ease I mean check this out look at this I mean, this guy is flying forever. <laughs> Remember how we said Yashimaru and uh, Haomaru had like the same timing jump? I mean, look at this, look at this. I mean, Yashimaru practically jumps at like one, like two thirds the speed, dude. It's pretty ridiculous right now. It's pretty crazy. And so, yeah, so he jumps forever. So different characters are gonna have different jumps and they're gonna be different eases in which you can anti-air them. Some characters like Ukyo have really good anti-airs in the Air Phoenix Blade, which actually work really well as an anti-air, etc., etc. So that's, that's the whole thing with anti-airs in Samurai Showdown. They definitely exist and they're a thing that you can do, but the way that you wanna look at anti-airs is different than how you look at anti-airs from other games. So there you go. I'm getting the kabuki drum here, the taiko drum. So in order to fix the leaks in my home, they have to wash the entire complex. So they're spraying the entire complex, and so they're essentially making my roof leak, and it is leaking into my bucket right now. And that's what that noise is, so. 